Hello again, it's the Vegan Vanner here. As I was working on the contents for this video, it was raining and then raining some more here in Quartzsite, Arizona. Rain makes the sky gloomy and some people's mood darkens. My sister has been given some discouraging diagnosis and is starting chemotherapy as I'm doing this video. Another fellow full-timer who lives in a home on wheels, whom I befriended recently, is consulting with doctors about her breast cancer diagnosis. There is enough in our lives, in our daily lives, that can get us down. So we need to keep our spirits up. A new uh, subscriber advises me to smile more often in my videos. Thank you, Bill. He's right, you know. Science says that merely smiling will improve one's mood. Besides, this channel is all about an uplifting subject, namely a plant-based lifestyle. I think that plant-based individuals, by and large, deal with moodiness and even depression quite well and remain balanced. Today, I'll show you why and how. Over the holiday season, the subject of mood swings and sadness and depression came up around the campfires. Some folks admit to having the blues at times like these. They mentioned their struggle with feeling depressed about uh, their loneliness. They're having to deal with little annoyances on an almost daily basis with regard to their rig. A lot of the happy-go-lucky front they put up crumbles in deeper conversations. Here's the thing. Could that be you? You wouldn't be alone. And you wouldn't be only one of only a few either. We live in a world where depression is at an all-time high. Worldwide, depression affects about 322 million people. Doctors prescribe antidepressants like they were candy. According to the CDC, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, antidepressants are one of the three most common prescription drugs in America. Question. Can we boost our mood naturally without drugs? Of course we can. Mother Nature has the remedy, you know. And all without those horrendous side effects that come with pharmaceuticals. So, I'll talk about nutrients first and then about food. Plant-based food. I'll keep it as limited as possible, but there are lots more of these natural mood enhancers. No popping pills involved here, and no smoking of certain stuff either. Independent research found eight nutrients in particular, and there are more, that make the brain function better and healthier and fight depression and mood disorders. Number one, Vitamin C. C is essential to the body's ability to make neurotransmitters such as dopamine, noradrenaline, and serotonin. They provide mood stability and prevention of depression. Think bell peppers, think oranges, lemons, strawberries, broccoli, all high in vitamin C. Why do I mention bell peppers before oranges? Well, Turns out a cup of red bell peppers contains three times more vitamin C than an orange. Number two, the B6 vitamin. This too makes neurotransmitters, including melatonin and norepinephrine. B6 deficiency leads to depression. Think carrots, spinach, green peas, lentils, bananas, sweet potatoes, which reminds me, at the next campfire, double wrap a sweet potato in foil and put it in the 
glowing coals. It's delicious. It's, what a treat that is. Number three, omega-3 fats. Your brain is 60% fat. It needs healthy fats to function well. Think flax seeds, chia seeds, hemp hearts, algae-sourced EPA and DHA. In another video, we will talk about EPA and DHA and ALA, what it all means in detail. Number four is zinc. The worst depression often comes from a low level of zinc. Also ADHD, poor memory, aggression, violence. Think legumes, think seeds, nuts, whole grains. Number five, magnesium. We need it for a neurotransmitter function, hormone balance, and enzyme activity. Think legumes, whole grains, tofu, leafy greens. Number six, folate, also known as vitamin B9. It is a well-established link between folate deficiency and depression. Think avocados, oranges, spinach, asparagus. Number seven, selenium. It's for brain health. This mineral improves mood, decreases depression, anxiety, and tiredness. Think mushrooms, lentils, Brazil nuts, very high in selenium. Number eight, vitamin D, the sunshine vitamin. Get some sun to increase serotonin production for a more positive mental state. Look for it also in fortified foods like almond milk or soy milk. Okay, now on to the other 15 mood-boosting foods in no particular order. Blueberries, avocado, walnuts, dark chocolate, green tea, pomegranates, probiotics such as sauerkraut and kimchi, leafy green vegetables and lentils, chickpeas, also known as garbanzos, broccoli, quinoa, bananas, zucchini, and last but not least, coffee. My subject. I love coffee. But it turns out I drink a bit too much of it. My only and almost valid excuse is that it's my last vice. No alcohol, no drugs, no smoking, but coffee. Coffee is well known for providing that happy feeling as dopamine produces euphoria. It's also high in antioxidants. The darker the rose, the less you get of that. But here's the thing. In 2015, researchers reviewed all the available research on the consumption of coffee and risk for depression. They looked at almost 350,000 individuals and 8,146 cases of depression. The finding was that the peak protective effect against depression was for those who drank approximately 400 milliliters per day. That's just over one and a half cups. Now I'm depressed. I think I make myself a cup of coffee. Please like and subscribe to improve my mood, lift my depression, and see you in the next video by The Vegan Banner. One more thing. You can actually buy me a coffee by clicking down on the Kofi link. It's much appreciated. Be healthy, be safe, and let's be, health, let's be younger next year.